In the Oscar-nominated Best Picture Amour, Anne and Zors have been a fortunate pair. They've entered the twilight of their lives together while remaining vital, playful, and very much in tune with one another. As far as they're concerned, if they can sit shoulder to shoulder on the bus, hand in hand at concerts, talk intimately, and smile over dinner, well, then the graying and limping changes of life are endurable. In fact, they're even sort of comfortable, like a pair of well-worn shoes. The comfortable things of life, however, hit a significant roadblock. Coucou. C'est moi. One morning after serving her husband a hard-boiled egg, Anne freezes blank-faced like a clock with a jammed gear. Nothing Zors does can start her mechanisms turning again. He panics and he reaches for the doctor's number. But before he can jump back into action, she's back. The loving couple both fear, however, that Anne's glitch will mean something terrible. And, indeed, it is the beginning of a new phase in their lives. A clouded, painful phase that includes a stroke, partial paralysis, and mental decline. This French-language-English caption film focuses on the ardor of love and the anguish of loss. There are bittersweet moments of tenderness and brief flashes of kindness. But there is no faith in God or hope and grace in this version of love. No sanctity of life. It's a bleak tale that chooses compassionate murder over misery. So I can only give a more just two youthful photos out of five for family friendliness. For an in-depth review of this film, or really anything else at your local box office, visit us at PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies. I'm Bob Walaszewski for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.